arrived in the northernmost city of Senegal, St. Louis. We discovered quickly that the locals don't like filming here. Until 1902, this was the capital of Senegal and French West Africa. Still to this day, the colloquial buildings are used on the islands. There are two sides to St. Louis. The side where tourists come to enjoy the novelty of this culturally mixed island. And the African side, which is the real St. Louis. Hoping to find more authentic footage of St. Louis, we stayed in a local neighbourhood called Daru. The area was comprised of a few shops and cellars. Everyone in the street was selling, buying, carrying or cooking. If you're lucky, you would be going to school. Even at night, the streets was lively. Everything would still be open until the early hours of the morning. However, it's not always easy to find exactly what you want. Oh, here is not. Let's try again. Because it's difficult to find sometimes even water, but mostly times cold water. You know, in the fridge they don't put many times fridge. We felt generally safe whilst walking around at night. Despite probably being the only foreigners in the whole area. <laughs> there was only one day in Daru when we felt unsafe. That was when a political protest started in the streets. We were advised to not go outside at all on that day. During the daytime, the African side of St. Louis was filled with the trade. You could barely walk on the pavement because everyone would pitch their shop on the road. All the pedestrians, cars and horses brush against each other as they move down the street. You can buy most day-to-day -day things here. Of course, nothing has a price. But there is not much of a haggling culture here. It's more like take it or leave it. Can you ask how much this? Uh, say combien? Huh? Seven. Uh, seven thousand. Seven thousand. So it's that's like ten, So it's like ten pounds. Yes, then. Um, el petit. Le petit. Yeah, same. Same meal, seven. Mm. Okay, they're both the same price. Okay, maybe their style different. Say yeah. seven thousand. Yeah. yeah, which is ten ten euros exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Merci. The abundant corner shops are the best place to buy groceries, but there is a very limited choice. For us, the best option here for a homemade meal was an egg sandwich. How much the baguette? Um, this one was 200, which is the same as the other shop. So 200 franc, which is about like 30 cents or something like that. But it's a nice baguette. We usually had to go to multiple shops to find all the ingredients. Um, uh, 
Det er min kasse over. Bort på det gør. Åh, sand. Nå, man må det. Ja, yeah, this shop is expensive. Because all this we buy 400, sometimes 350. 700 is 1 euro, 500 is... 500 is like 80, 80 cents, eh? more or less. Now, five eggs, he asks basically too much money. Yeah, like the, price, the same price as like three eggs in that shop is maybe like, like 12 eggs in, in Europe. <laughs> Finding ingredients to a basic sandwich really could take us all morning. This was our go-to local restaurant for something quick to eat for a cheap price. Today things is around 70 cents, 80 cents. Omelette and spaghetti. But it has seasoning, um, it has salt and a bit of sauce, so um, it's not terrible for 70 cents, I think it's worth it. But I don't know from the top of... Hmm. Tastes okay? Yeah, Getting a haircut at a local barber was also cheap. So cheap, in fact, that we just had to take advantage of it. How much? 500. Wow. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. There is a fish market where you can pick up all kinds of things for local prices. The fish comes straight from the sea where it gets gutted on the floor before being sold. Cambia. Uh, five thousand francs. Seven euros. Seven, eight, Seven, eight euros. euros. Yeah. Seven, eight dollars. I think it's cheap. Yeah, it is cheap. Second bien. Si. And that's ten. Uh, how's this one? Ten thousand. Maybe it's kilo. Yeah, maybe it's per kilo. A kilo. Per kilo. Per kilo. Per kilo. Or un. Maybe it's a nicer fish. Surely all the locals here have their preferred stall. But as a tourist, it would take you days to find the best product for the best price here. The whole market is a free for all, where everyone is selling a mixture of things in no particular order. If they bring it here, I'm not even sure who they sell it to. <laughs> It doesn't seem that anyone is removing the waste here. We were told by the locals that the government has nothing in place to clean up areas like this. Here is the sea coast. And we have sunset now. Here is Atlantic Ocean. It's not exactly a beach that I think Westerners would want to come and oh, relax on. Like Here in this island, all people, they earn money, mm -hmm. uh, like way of fish. Mm -hmm. Mostly they are fishermen, or everywhere go to, as you can see, sheep, goat, they sell their milk and meat. Or they catch fish. So here they use like something. This is like a thing. Mm -hmm. Every street was filled with dozens of kids. For every adult, there must have been ten children. Oh, they play that game. Yeah. So marbles is like a popular. It is. 
Of course, they took an interest in us as we were the only foreigners in the whole neighborhood. The African side of St. Louis is for living. Everyone there has a role in their ecosystem. It's not somewhere that you would go leisurely. Where you might find a bit of leisure is the European side of St. Louis. Coming up in the next episode. How much? This is the normal price, it's 35. We see the sellers who are just targeting tourists. We see what a high-end meal looks like. We hang around with the locals and compare the difference in the European side.